We have spiral. Spiral's interesting. I'm here. I'm in tight. I deflect, and now I'm right up against the guy, and the guy's pressing on my arm. This is up against his head. You know, I, his knife is coming around here. I deflect over here. This is up here. If I draw back, I create space. He's going to suck that space up. He's going to go into grappling. He's going to go into stabbing, you know, shank attack. I'm here. I need to move him off of me. What I want to do now is I'm going to hit it just with a spiral. I'm going to take this. See, my palm is up. When I rotate, it's a rotation. Spiral rotation energy. What's happening is I get more muscles involved in that than if I go, if I'm here, just go straight into it. Like once again, about four inches out. I'm going to hit this with my forearm. Keep this back, keep it moving, moving around a little bit right here. And I just go here and just move it straight in. Well, that isn't much. You know, that's, that's, a, that's better than that. Yeah, it might move the guy off of you a little bit. But if I've got this, I'm actually literally up against the bag. My thumb is. Now I'm going to take it off. So I'm about, my thumb is an inch from the bag. When I rotate, my, I'm going from palm up to palm down. That's going to get the shoulder complex and across the back here involved as it turns, as this turns down. And because of that shoulder complex doing that and that rotation, and the fact that I get to move it instead of just moving it that far in, I now get to move it down and in, I'm moving it further and through an arc, I get a chance to accelerate it faster and I'm using more muscle to accelerate it that allows me to get more power in here. See, it's all physics. It's all about body mechanics. You know, it's not about me sitting here going, willing myself to go, and the thing flies across the room. It's not going to happen. It'd be nice if it did, it did, but you know, and again, I guess it'd be nice if we could all fly on brooms like Harry Potter, but here we go. I'm here, and I'm going to rotate spiral. So it's here, right against it, and we go. And we got quite a bit of rotation. No hip motion, not this, not that. I'm coming in here with just this spiral. The forearm's going to strike it. It's not the bag. The forearm's going to go right here, and it's spiral. There it goes. Now you have a jerking motion or a jing, you see that in a lot of Filipino dances and motions. And that little, that is hip, hips moving, the hip is not going, turn, the, it is a jerk almost to the whole body, the spine kind of like snaps. That's a great way to develop a ton of power. And I could be in here, oh I'm right in tight, I'm pushing literally against the guy and I need to get him off of me. Well I can push and a lot of guys can you know, you're sitting here, if you're going against a stronger, heavier opponent, this isn't going to work. You're in uh, his grappling range. He's going to pick you up, toss you around, and it's going to look like uh, you went uh, to a mixed martial arts match uh, without being prepared, and uh, this guy just uh, grounds and pounds you. So what you want to do instead, what I'm going to do is get him off of me. I can't go, ah! And to do that, I'm going to jing. And when I do that, you're going to see hip moves, but the spine pops like in the spiral. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to be here and I'm going to jing and I'm going to, this is going to knock the crap out of this thing because I now have hip and spine into it, especially the spine snapping and that's, you know, all those muscles in the spine are rippling, shooting forward and your, and your transfer of weight. So I'm transferring my, whole, you know, a lot of body weight here. So I'm here and I'm going to literally push, I'm literally against this and as I spiral, this guy asked me to spiral my arms at the same time as I jerk that spine and hips and you get this motion like this. And so if I'm here, you can see I can you get a pretty significant move. Now, none of this is anything you can't get from being back here and go, bam! But it can be done very quickly while in a while up here and where somebody's not expecting the movement. And what we're looking to do here is usually not to knock someone out, but to change his structure to break down some of his balance, to disrupt his balance so that for a split instant he's thinking more about maintaining balance than he is hitting, cutting, or grappling with us. So when it comes to close range stuff, if you're not grappling, breaking, joint locking, throwing, then you should be hitting to get him off of you, to get some distance, to get some 
so you can work your technique. So what we're looking at, we're looking at close range. I'm in, oh, we got close, he closed in, and I want to get close range power. I want to be able to get him off of me or to knock you, to do some serious damage to him inside. And to do that, I want to be able to do that here, not here. If we're looking at really close range tight stuff, while I'm in tight, can't move, boom, it's spiral. There, spiral. It's whip. That whip, that whipping slap, pop. Whipping, star palm or shoot up, boom, it's just bam. So I can go whip, spiral, right in here, and you've done something. I can go whip, straight punch, elbow, whip, or transfer energy. I can transfer energy that way. One to two, so I, that's another thing here. On here, on here, it's right up against it. What I'm doing, I'm just deflected. I need, I want to whip this through, do that spiraling, kind of a spiral whip, because I'm spiraling the thing in here to hit. But you know, it helps. Help it with that, it, give it a little extra energy to spin that elbow, and you can come in here with. So all of a sudden, you just up here against the guy's face. And things change. That's a significant hit. That's a 120-pound heavy bag. Yeah, I know some guys out there, even middleweight boxers. I'm a, I'm a middleweight <laughs> who will move that thing a lot, a lot more with with a nice uh, punch combination. But we're talking in tight, in some different methodologies. I'm not saying they're better. I'm saying they're different, and I'm saying that in certain environments they are better. It is nice to have the ability to string these combinations rather than having to go pop, pop, boom. You can be very fast as a boxer with that, but if I'm sitting here going, oh, i got to be circular to deflect this blade. Oh, deflect the guy's arm. I'm here. Oh, now it can be here. Oh, there. So it's elbow, transfer, elbow, transfer, whip, spiral, and you can do all this stuff in close and it can come up with Boom, and you can start doing quick stuff right in here, in tight, that's bouncing the guy all, all, all over the place. Then when you get a little distance, yeah, that's when you can come in and do your finish. Boom, you know, your nice jab hook. That's when you come in with your finishing elbow with the transfer of all your weight and, and stepping in and doing your hips. But sometimes you can't do that right off. And being in close and being able to do this phone booth fighting, you know, toe to toe, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, it's something to think about. So I hope this answers some questions. I hope you see how power is developed. This, this is by not by any means all the ways to develop power. I didn't show some of the spiraling downward, you know, and the vertical uh, power levels where I'm going high to low or low to high to develop power. I didn't, you know, where I'm going, my stance is dropping. I'm dropping low to the ground or I'm coming from low to high. And I didn't show some of the other ways, and I didn't show how some of this applies with a stick or a knife, you know, but this empty hand that shows some interesting stuff and I hope, uh, hope this was uh, enjoyable. Thanks.